Hello everyone, my name is Imada Lokapo and today I'll be having the honor to introduce you guys to this new crypto mat feature that just landed inside Blender 2.8. So what are the functionality of this new tool? So this helps speed up your masking workflow when compositing your final image. If you're familiar with Nook, it supports features that allows you to automatically select objects from like really complicated scenes just by clicking on colors. So don't worry about that. I'm going to show you guys how this works. So I'll be using this model and it's a very simple scene. No lights will just be rendering it out with bland color. So it's rendered fast and I will just be able to show you guys this awesome feature without wasting your time. Okay. Um, so what you need to do is you don't need to select any object or do anything. You just need to go to the view layer. Okay. Um, under passes you scroll down and you will notice you have crypto map so if you check your blender and it's not there that's because you're not up to date so to do that you go to blender.org and download the latest release of the 2.8 um, we are close to alpha so soon it will be official but as for now you need to keep up to date and update so you can get in tune with the changes so all you need to do is either select object, material, or asset. So these are the three parameters which you could play with. Asset is not yet available because it's still it's not it's still not a blender term. I think they are working on releasing the asset manager 2.81. Um, but for now you can work with the material and object. So why is this necessary? So as I said earlier, it speeds up your workflow. Normally, you could have you could do this in Blender, but you had to go individually and select like pass index, which is really, uh, which is okay, but comes becomes really tedious when dealing with like really large scene. So this really speeds it up and makes it like an automatically at an automatic uh, work work style. Um, so let's just start up and so if you select object for the crypto mat just save the scene and hit F12 and it just renders out quickly just a very simple scene so all you need to do is go into the compositor your compositor and use node so what you notice is the crypto object so you don't need to worry um, that this output node will get larger maybe if you have like one million objects in your scene it should just stay like this three output node forever so i don't know why they didn't make it just like one output node probably they have like a technical reason um yeah um so if you go ahead and like try to preview the crypto object node you'll find out that you can see anything so it's useless to us but to make it useful, uh, you need to go into the math selection, uh, section and select the crypto math node. So this is a new node just added in our compositor. Um, to use it, you need to input all the output into the crypto math. So like respectively, like from the crypto object or all. So it's all stated here, so it's no biggie. So once you do that, you can go ahead and preview it. But if you click on the image, you don't see anything. If you click on the mat, you don't see anything. Or if you click on the peak, you see you see uh, you can see it. So how this works is basically it works like a color selection tool. If you're familiar with that in Photoshop, where you could isolate an image based on a given color. So that's how this works. So right now, the reason the image is not showing is because um, the node doesn't have any data to work with. So to give it data, you need to go to the add um, eyedropper tool and just select any color. Okay. So once you do that, you can just see some random code. Um, I think this uh, actual colors actual actual color code. So. Um, once you do that, you think nothing happened, but once you go back to preview the color, um, the image, 
and then you need to add an image here so you can see it has gone in and actually maxed out it out for us okay um, so you can also see the values values too and if you ask me how do you use this um, an easy way to do that is you add the alpha over node okay and just add this and just use this as a map and you can let's say see your saturation value and increase it so you can see you have like control over those that aspect and it's all automatic okay and so let me repeat this process I did again so you to select or to add certain parts to the map you have to use the eyedropper tool or you could also remove it once you, you don't like it again but to add you could just select and you can add multiple which is awesome too so it's automatically updated and you see automatically um yeah so that's basically that so this functionality is also available for the material and you can actually do multiple at once so, so all you need to do is select multiple uh, duplicated and assign it inside here so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video you, give me a thumbs up and if you wish to see more for me give hit the subscribe button bye bye for now